Hi, this is Lucia with the Central Jersey Arts Council. I'm here to bring you a St. Patrick's Day craft. This is geared more towards younger ages. Um, just something fun to do for the season. So what you will need is a bowl. We need some gold glitter for the gold at the end of the rainbow. You're gonna need a black paper. This is how we're gonna make the pot. You're gonna need some rainbow colored paint. It's gonna be red for the pinky, orange for the ring finger, yellow for the middle finger, green for the pointer, and then blue or purple, whatever your choice, for the thumb. Um, and then of course, we're gonna use white paper as our background. The first thing we're just gonna do is trace out our pot. So we're gonna just, it doesn't have to be too big, not too small either. What you can actually do is measure out your hand first and then you can kind of decide how big. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use every finger to make our hand look like a rainbow, which is pretty easy to do with small kids. So again, just take your hand, kind of guesstimate how big you want it. I think I'll probably do it where the opening is right under my knuckle bones. So just open it here. Make the first opening at the top. And then the bottom of it. Pretty simple. All right. Doesn't have to be exact to it. And just so you're able to see, I don't know if you guys can see mine, but just right there. And you're gonna take your scissors. You can also outline it with the Sharpie if you want to. I don't think I need to just because I can see it pretty well, but you can, or with a thicker Sharpie even. That might be better. So we're going to cut it. You can use thicker construction paper if that's easier. especially with the younger kids, if they're gonna be doing it and cutting it themselves. But this can work fine too. We just cut around. Doesn't need to be perfect cuts. All right, and there you go. You have your pot. Put this aside. Now it's better to use thicker paper, maybe even watercolor paper, just because we don't want the paint to seep through. This is pretty standard, just printer paper that's a little bit thicker. So again, you wanna just measure it out the bottom and take your hands and you can decide how much you want showing. I'm gonna do, again, under my knuckle, where it's sitting, it's gonna kinda look like this, but with paint. So again, red on our pinky. So just spread around. It can get a little bit messy, but that's okay. A flat plate might also work a little bit better, so you could just get the whole finger there and just measure it out. And then you just press down. You can have a parent help pressing down the fingers. And we lift up. You can even make it go a little bit further. Then we take orange for our ring finger. And you can also wipe the other ones in case so we don't get any other paint on the sides. And again, you could spread it down a bit. And then for yellow on our middle finger, Again, just measure it out. I'm gonna say here, should be fine. And I'm gonna move it down, same thing. And green. All right. This one's a little bit more watery, but that's okay. 
and then blue or purple. I'm going to do blue. So here, I'm going to have the shape of my hand. And we spread it down. Now if you want, you can just put it over like that, unless you want more of the palm showing, which is a little bit harder, but I'm going to try it. So you just keep going down, make it a little bit thicker to kind of show the palm here. And then same finger for orange, spread it down. You can mix the two at the bottom there. Make it look like a hand. And our yellow. And green. Now you might need to let this paint dry a bit before putting the pot on it. All right, so you could use clear glue. It might work a little bit easier, um, especially if we're gonna be pouring the glitter on top to kind of mimic the pieces of gold. But again, you can kind of, let's see the pot first actually. So, just glue a little bit here. I don't need too much so it doesn't bubble up. Just a bit. And if you want, you don't have to have the line part showing with the stencil. And press it down. Then we'll take our bowl, have it on the side here, and our glitter. Okay, so then you're just gonna take, you could dot it, or you could do squiggles. I'm sure you can see here. And on top a little bit. Then we're gonna take either a toothpick or just one of these to mix it around, flatten it out. Just spread the glue and before it dries, we will take the glitter, and you could do this over the bowl, or just here, and then toss it over. Just fully get it all over and cover all the glue. I'll probably get on the paint a little bit, but that's okay. If that paint is dried, this would definitely be easier as well. So come off. Then we're gonna grab it carefully and hold it here and pour it out onto the bowl. All the excess. And there you have it. You could glue down these parts a little bit more if you want. You can even make shapes with the glue if you want to, or you can bring it up here. You can use thicker pieces of glitter, but yeah. And you can even make, if you want, if you don't want the shape of a hand, you could use the fingers to just spread it out more so it looks more like a rainbow. All right, so there you guys have it. It is your hand coming out of a pot of gold. Um, our St. Patrick's Day little craft. You can take some colored pencils in these red, orange, yellow, green, and blue colors and put the name in the corner or at the top. And yeah. So don't forget to check out our Instagram, our Facebook, YouTube page. Check out more videos like these. We'll definitely be doing a lot more crafts for the holidays coming up for Easter. Probably another St. Patrick's Day video and other ones that we're featuring on the YouTube channel. All right. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.